hi guys welcome back to will and march's channel and in today's video i am going to show you how to clean my new bridge and how to keep them fresh and clean or keep your bridge as long as you can for the rest of your life <laughs> so if you want to stay tuned um it's gonna be interesting so if you haven't subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button and um of course click that bell as well i'm not used to saying that so it gives you a notification anytime i post a new video <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started so I promise guys uh, that I am going to show you how I clean and keep my teeth or my bridge um, clean and also uh, if you decided to switch or change you know you wanted to have a healthy gum and healthy teeth underneath your bridge. So first thing first, after dinner at night or after shower before I brush my teeth I wanted to um, floss and and that's what i like about the bridge is you can still floss around the area uh, compared to dentures dentures you just have to take your dentures out and brush it and put it back on which is kind of embarrassing to a lot of people uh i really don't want that to happen to me <laughs> when i get old so i wanted to make sure i keep my um bridge clean and healthy uh, around my gums as well so the first thing i wanted to show you is to of course you're gonna have your regular floss uh you floss around your teeth area anything that is real or natural you know you wanted to floss everything around your bridge so mine is since my bridge is started from this tooth tooth this teeth or this tooth all the way down to the other side which is right beside my canine so you know how do you floss since this is not like something you can put the floss in between your teeth uh, or your tooth so what you're going to have which hopefully your dentist will give you is uh what they call a floss threader floss threader <laughs> i can't say it so it's kind of like you know when you can't see uh, the eye of your um needle you use some type of threader to put your uh, thread inside your eye <laughs> I know I call it but this is what it looks like guys so here's the container and then it's it looks like this and um, this is something that is disposable but you can keep this as long as you can um, you know make sure you clean it thoroughly after you thread it through your gums and your teeth and the way it works because again you know you don't have any uh, in between uh, space in between your bridge so since mine started all the way from here and I want to clean the inside of that make sure your gum is always healthy you're gonna thread this the, the threader <laughs> thread you're gonna put this into your gum and your teeth just like so okay it's weird you're gonna keep that there and you're gonna get a floss right okay so i just want to use a small floss because she just doesn't really have a lot of uh, gum to floss around so you're gonna put this floss inside the feather okay i'm gonna push it through just like a needle like that like so and then you're gonna start flossing right between right there and make sure it's clean and and it won't go through out down here because again there's no space there so you're done flossing that spot so now we're gonna go on the other side so I've already washed this again and then push this through again okay right there right 
okay and say it through that <laughs> you can't understand what I'm saying <laughs> All right, and of course, throw that away. And now we're gonna go through the front, like so. So on the front, a K9, and then all of this are our bridge. So you're gonna want it to put it right inside here. Put that between. <laughs> it's weird, but uh -huh, uh -huh. And then you get a floss again and you clean it just like so and routine and then you go run this across your bridge like right on the other side so make sure this is clean so I usually go back and forth and then you push it through so that's one way of cleaning your bridge which you feel fresh all the time you don't feel kind of nasty you know especially if there's food in between that came in there so that that's one of the things i use is a flosser or a thread flosser and your floss of course or you can use this oral b super floss what this looks like which Every once in a while, I'll use this one because it has like a foamy part of the floss, but it's too long. And this floss part is too thick for me. So I just use this every once in a while, especially if I run out of the threader. Because this one has a, a harder end or a stronger end compared to the other side which because of the harder end you don't need a threader to go in between your your teeth like you can just put this in there and it will go okay and then you just thread it through there okay I don't want to go all the way through because look how long this is so I go back just like so and I do the other side just like the other side I did so I cleaned that already now with no threader you just use this pointy part or the harder part of the thread or the floss and you go through inside of this one just like so and then clean your your bridge so I'm gonna throw this away guys and then the last thing I use if I really wanted to thorough clean everything after flossing then I use a water peak so I got this from Amazon and the way it works of course you know it, you have to put water in here and just water you don't want to put anything that will cause it to plug <laughs> So don't put anything but water or warm water or purified water or tap water whichever water you like to use but I got this from Amazon and it came with all the brushes all the connectors you know I haven't used most of this uh, yet because I'm just using that water peak connector that shoots water out in between your gown and and then it also, once you put the water, you can turn it on and there's an adjustable dial. You can adjust from um, one to, I think, level 10, which I don't want it to go to level 10. So it's off right now. And so we're gonna add uh, water on it or in it, like, just like so. And of course, we're gonna connect it here and the reservoir or the connector reservoir <laughs> I can't I don't know what you call that guys but anyway so I'm gonna cover it and then plug it in just like so my have my plug is right there okay all right and then you grab the holder 
the whatever you call this and turn the dial on right and then once it's on it has an on button here as well it goes you push it up and it turns on and the way you use it is you put of course the very end of this in your mouth and then you just go through your gums whatever food particles that you have in your teeth and let me show you how to use it so you got this in your mouth of course you always wanted to clean this part of your uh, water peak and you put it in between your gum like like so with your closed mouth so I turned it on already dial 4 and then you just turn it on So I didn't finish the, the water, uh, but I feel really fresh and clean. And of course, you're gonna have to clean this. And to take that off, you just press that button and you pull this out. Make sure you clean this. I usually clean this with hydrogen peroxide or um, just salt and water, uh, warm salt or warm water and salt, and just kind of rinse it out make sure it's clean um, of course after you clean your sorry after you clean your your gum with your floss or your water peak then it's time for you to brush your teeth um very important two times or three times a day and what i like to use i don't like to just use a regular or manual toothbrush so i usually use Sonicare toothbrush. So it's the Philips Sonicare. I don't know if you can see it, but it connects here. There's a newer model. Um, my husband and I have this toothbrush for a while. This brush, it's we probably have them for like more than seven years, and it still works. So you you'll buy a different kind, um, but it, this works really well and your gum and your teeth, I really like it. So you know the difference between the manual toothbrush and the electric toothbrush. There you have it. We are done cleaning our teeth. I'm not gonna show you brushing my teeth, um, you know how it goes, but hopefully this video helps you guys a lot for those of you who have dental bridge and uh, that, you know, when you do this every night, every day, you will have your dental bridge for a long period of time. Again, thank you so much for watching. Until my next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye.